Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hey, hey, good afternoon to our viewers uh, I hope uh, you you are all fine uh, this afternoon or uh, lunch hour I'm joined by uh, the visitor who has visited us today and uh, I'm going to call upon the, the madam to introduce herself uh, good afternoon madam good afternoon sir thank you and welcome to the secretariat thank you sure uh, tell us about yourself the the public would want to know about yourself kindly tell us your, about yourself okay so my name is monga mefri i graduated last year from eden university i was doing nursing which is degree in nursing i completed last year and graduated last year okay yes thank you so much uh I think uh, uh, the, the the public would also want to know because uh, on 13th April there was uh, an accident that involved the former Chipolopolo captain Renford Kalaba. Uh, kindly describe the event. How was it? Okay. So on 13th, which was Saturday, I was coming from Lusaka to Chikankata of which I was on a public bus. So as we approached uh, Mwenya along Kafir Road, we found an accident which involved a man and a lady, of which the lady was already dead by then, but the man was just unconscious. We found a lot of people taking pictures, taking videos. So as we saw the scene then, I had to request the driver if I could get off the bus since it was a public vehicle and if everyone on the bus would agree, of which they did, they gave me some minutes so I could help. So I got off the bus, I approached where he was laid down, which is a flat surface, so I checked to see if he was dead or he was still alive. Of course, when you touch someone, if they're still warm, you can feel if this one is still maybe just unconscious or this one is dead so he was unconscious i tried to call him of course i didn't know it was him i don't know his name so i tried to call mister there was no response i tried to pinch him there was no response i tried to shake him there was no response so i knew he was unconscious i felt for the pulse there was nothing so then i had to start performing cpr which i assessed there was no danger in near um nearby so i started doing my cpr um for about 15 to 20 minutes after 20 minutes then he responded with the pulse of course not really answering but just the pulse came back though it was slow and irregular yeah then that's how i reported to the officer was there and told him to say he needed to be rushed to the hospital yes then i proceeded with my journey to Stankata. Oh, thank you so much. That's interesting. To those that have uh, joined us now, uh, I'm here with uh, Madam Nefrin Monga, the one who gave the first aid to our former Chipolopolo captain, uh, Kalava Rainford, who was vo involved in an accident on 13th um, last week. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, th that's interesting. Uh, people, maybe you can you can talk about the, 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 the first aid that you gave. What was the first aid? Kind of describe it. Okay. So I did CPR. What's CPR? It's a cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Okay. This is done when someone is unconscious, if someone is choking, if someone has cardiac arrest, or maybe they're not responding to anything you we have to do CPR just to revive them 
or if their heart is beating excessively, sure. do CPR, which is cardiopulmonary resuscitation, okay. of which that's what I did since the client was unconscious. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's that, that, that's very good. But uh, I would want to know, you are on the journey to to, to Chikankata, as you are yes. saying. Uh, what prompted you to, to tell the driver to stop the vehicle so that you can check what was happening there? What prompted you? People would want to know. Okay. Sure. So, as I was on the bus, I saw how the man was lying and how people were busy taking videos, of course, and pictures. So I thought mother of Madame Lillian would say, no, nurses, you have to lead by example. You have to do what it takes for someone to be a good nurse, to be hands-on. So I thought, if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, it's the, uh, the distance between me doing something and me sitting on a bus not doing anything involves someone's life. So I needed to get off and try to do what is needed. Okay. Yeah, so my conscience couldn't allow me to just sit on the bus. Okay. Yes. But the driver, you know, these bus drivers, did he even cooperate with you? Yeah, thank God for that driver. I requested him and he was so cooperative. He's from Kafue. Eh? Okay. Yeah. He told me to get off and he would wait for me for some minutes. Okay. Of course, I was tense. So the same driver when we reached in Kafue, eh? he told me to say, no, you can go and use the public shower since I was tense and it changed a little bit. And okay. he still waited for me. Okay. Thank God for that driver, yeah. Oh, you must be brave. And how long did that take? Uh, about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's good. Uh, I think uh, to those that have joined us today, uh, this afternoon, of course, we are joined by uh, a lifesaver, uh, Madam Nefrin Monga, the one who tried by all means to give the first aid to our former Chipolo Polo captain who is now at UTH and the reports that we are getting from that side is that uh, uh, our, our former Chipolo Polo captain is uh, recuperating very well and responding very well to, to treatment. This is the update that we are having uh, this afternoon and in front of you we are having the lifesaver Madam Nefrin Monga. Madam, a, 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 a lot of people, a lot of people, oh, when there's an accident, they become journalists. They want to be taking pictures and so on and so forth. What message do you have to, to those people, your fellow nurses or people? Uh, sometimes maybe helping someone doesn't require someone to, 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 to be affiliated in health or to do some, some, some health courses. What message do you have to them? Okay. So to all those in the medical field, um, I would like to say whenever you find people in need, not just in accidents, it might be anything, let's learn to put our hands together and do hands on nursing or any other procedures to help. And to the uh, general public, I would encourage everyone, it's not just those who are in health that can help. Yeah, it can, no matter the help, it, it might be small, it might be great. But whichever way, it still helps. We need to, when we find an accident, let's avoid taking pictures, taking videos, at least maybe even cutting victims to put them on the track surface or removing any other dangers or harms. It's still helpful. So let's learn to give a helping hand to each and everyone. Okay, thank you so much. I think this uh, marks the, the end of our, our discussion. Madam Nefrin Monga, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for saving that life. I know it was not easy, uh, but with you, I think you, you made it possible to bring, uh, uh, to, to, to make sure that he, our, our former Chipolo Polo is, uh, is very much stable. Sure. To our list, uh, to our viewers, thank you so much for for watching. And this marks the end of our discussion. Thank you so much, Madam Monga, for coming, okay. and wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.